we are now done with our histology unit. So no more looking at virtual microscopes for those of you who don't like virtual microscopes. We're instead going to start a really big unit that covers all of the bones and muscles in our body. This is our muscular skeletal unit, module two. So I'm going to walk you through Canvas, show you where the worksheets are, and then walk you through the first of the worksheets for this unit, worksheet four. So let's start with Canvas here. So again, we are scrolling past this unit. I'll make a video shortly about the final project to give you some more information about that. We have finished histology and we're here on our musculoskeletal system. So we'll start with bones. Again, download worksheet four, take a look at it, answer the five question pre-lab quiz, and then open up worksheet four. Now, for these worksheets, for these worksheets, what you're going to need to do for several of them are to draw things. And it says, draw this um, sketch. When it says draw or sketch, it does not mean copy and paste an image from the internet. If you do that, you will not get any points. You will need to actually take out like a piece of paper and a pencil and draw something and make it look as good as you can and upload it. So you're going to be uploading a few different documents. You'll upload the worksheet and then you'll upload pictures of all of your drawings. So you'll draw it, and you'll take your phone and you'll take a little picture and you'll upload that as well. Okay. And I'll show you where I, where that occurs in worksheet four. So let's pull up worksheet four. Okay. So again, you're going to put your name, your section number, the date, you're going to use your lab manual. The exact exercise number might be different depending on which version you're looking for the axial skeletal exercise. So our goals are to identify and label the bones of the axial skeletal system. And again, we're trying to relate structure to function. For this, we also want to be able to distinguish between male and female skeletons. So first we have some questions about the cranial bones, about the facial bones, about sutures. And then we have some pictures that come from your lab manual that I want you to label. Now, for a lot of people, the best way to do this is to print it and write it. You can also create little text box, text boxes if you want to, but again, you might be better off printing it. Now, if you don't have a printer, you can draw this and label it that way, or you can trace. Tracing is always, is always an easier thing to do when you trace your lab manual and then label and again, upload those pictures, okay? So we're labeling all sides of the skull. Here is a question for number, name, significance, a typical vertebrae. Again, you might have to either put text boxes or print it or draw and label, okay? Now, here's a draw. Do not copy and paste pictures from the internet. Please actually draw this. There's a method to my madness. Copying and pasting uses zero learning networks in your brain. Drawing is helpful, especially for visual learners, especially for visual learners. So please draw it from the superior view and the lateral view. Draw a sternum and a rib cage here and answer some questions about it, okay? Draw your pectoral girdle answer some questions, draw, look at all this drawing you're gonna to have to do, okay? Um, so please make sure we either print it out and draw and label right on the document, or you draw pictures on a piece of paper and you take pictures with your phone and you upload it that way. As always, if you have questions, please email me.